Hey everybody, it's Jake, and today we're going to show you how to do a screen recording on your iPad. So if you have an iPad and you want to capture what you're doing on your screen for a presentation or a lesson or anything like that, and I'm going to be doing this for my students, and if you want to do this for you students, uh, this is a great method to use. The software is built right in the iPad, so let's show you how it works. So let me show you how to set this up. It's pretty easy. We're gonna to go to Control Center, wherever that is on your tablet. And then we are going to go to Control Center here and select this. And then that should be on. We're gonna customize the controls. And we are going to scroll down here and you should see this little red and white icon that says screen recording. We're gonna hit that plus, And that will bring that up to here to include these are the items that are included in our Control Center. So now we can go back out to our home screen. And this is a little tricky part. I actually have to be off the glass and then just pull that down and I should get this little window that pops up. Sometimes if I don't, if I'm down here, this keeps happening. So little fun fact here, just make sure you're all the way off the glass and pull down. And then I've got this icon here. Now, what you wanna do before you even start this, now it wants to start recording, I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna just hold this down and then I'm gonna to go to, I wanna stop recording actually. And you get some options here as far as where you want it to be recorded to. I can record it to my camera roll, and that's generally where you want it, or WebEx meeting or Zoom or wherever. The other thing is the microphone. Now, this is microphone on. When you first start using this, it will actually have the microphone off. So if you want to record your voice while you're doing this, make sure you click that, make sure your microphone's on. Uh, you can do it if you're in a quiet room, the iPad will pick it up. It won't be that great. Uh, if you have just a regular headset that came with your iPhone or another headset that you can plug into the audio jack, that will also work. Um, AirPods will also work, I believe. And that way you're gonna get a lot better audio. The key to this, I think, is really getting good audio with whatever you're doing here. So with that on, so I'm gonna get back out here. So with that on, I'm just gonna hit that button. It's gonna give me a countdown and then we are recording. So now I am recording here on my iPad and I'm gonna go in and we're gonna move around and just look at some stuff, um, check the news, show our students what we want and it's recording. Now you see up here in the corner, there's this little red and white icon. That means things are being recorded at this time. And so when I'm done, all I have to do is go up here to here and I want to say stop and that will stop the recording. And then you'll notice up here, it says screen recording saved in photos. So I can even just click on that. It'll bring me right into my photos and then I can play it from here. So let's see how it turned out. Now the nice thing is if, let's say I want, I can even do just real quick editing here if I want, I can come in and if I wanna chop off that first part, like they don't, no one needs to see this. I can come in here. If I wanna bring this in, I can cut that off just like an iPhone and I can say done and then save that as a clip, which is nice. I can also put this in iMovie if you wanna do that or any other video editing software that I want. So that makes it really handy, really quick to use an iPad in order to just do a quick screencast of whatever you're seeing on your iPad for wherever you wanna show it to. So now that you've created this, now we've got a couple questions like, where am I gonna put it? Can I edit it? And then how do I upload it? Well, as far as where you wanna put it, it just depends. If you wanna upload it to Schoology, like for me, for my students, or you just wanna upload it to YouTube, you can do this directly, just right, usually from the iPad to that software. It's usually not a big deal. Um, for editing, let's say I wanted to incorporate some video like this with that, I can do that with uh, I can do that with YouTube. I can do that in their editor that they have. I can do that with iMovie on my iPad, which isn't too bad. You don't necessarily need Premiere Pro or some like heavy duty software as far as editing goes for videos, but those will kind of get you by for what you need to do. Um, as far as getting it off my iPad, let's say I wanted to get over a PC or a Mac, if I just wanted to take it to my MacBook, what I can just do is just airdrop that directly from my tablet to my MacBook and that usually works fine. Uh, there is software out there if I wanna take this from my tablet and then put it on my PC and I'll put some of those down below in the description so that'll can help you out. If you want to edit it on your, on your PC from your tablet, 
that'll work fine too. So if you have any other questions on screen recording with your iPad as far as capturing or moving files or that kind of thing, please leave those below. You can help out everybody else kind of get in the same boat of trying to figure out how to use their iPad to create content and upload videos for their classroom or whatever it may be. If you have any questions, please leave those below as well. And this is Jacob All Trades, and we'll see you next time.